Hey, what's going on traders? In this video, we are going to do a Monday market analysis where I personally think the market's headed in the upcoming weeks. Um, if I'm going to buy or sell any of my positions in any said stocks. So all that and more coming right up. Before we get right into the video, if you guys haven't joined the team yet, it's the first link in the description box below. I'd really love to have you guys join the Discord as we are growing at an exponential rate and all beginners are welcome. So hopefully I see you guys in there. Alrighty, so we are looking at the NASDAQ. Um, as you can see, the futures are actually green, so hopefully they will stay green um, leading into tomorrow morning, so we can actually have a green day. But I wanna start doing this uh, for you guys on Monday night so you guys see where I think the market's headed, um, so you guys can get a general idea of what I'm looking at. Um, so let me know if this does help you guys and you do like these, because I will start making these every week if you guys do see value in them. But um, we are looking at six months of trading on the NASDAQ, and I have a few key points highlighted. As you can see, I have right here, 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 and here, all highlighted, and there's a reason for that. Going down to the indicators on the bottom, you can see that the MACD and the RSI, every single time, the RSI is blue, which means it's oversold. Remember, if it's red, it's overbought. If it's blue, it's oversold. Every time it's been oversold, um, it means generally it's for a good deal. Now, think about it this way. Would you buy a card that's worth, um, $10,000, would you pay $12,000 for it? Uh, probably not, or I like to say that you guys wouldn't, um, but you would pay $8,000 for it if um, you talked the seller down a little bit. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're waiting for a good opportunity. Um, so we waited for a good opportunity, I think is what we're doing right now. As you can see, it is very oversold right now. Every single time is on these levels, I had a really good um, jump up. Now remember, there's three stages of a reversal, so that's what we're waiting for, is the, the three completion stages of a reversal. Let me explain. If you zoom into any of these, there's the initial drop first, okay, so the dip, and then there's a consolidation phase, then there's recovery phase. So you want to invest in the beginning of the recovery phase um, because if you invest in the way going down, you might not have gotten the best price. Um, and if you invest um, in the consolidation phase, it could actually keep going down instead of going back up. So you always want to wait for confirmation and buy um, in the third step, completing the final phase. Um, so that generally would be in this area right here. Going over to what's happening now, we are in the first phase. We are in the initial dip phase, okay? Now I would like to see, secondly, um, some consolidation. As you can see, there wasn't much, much consolidation this dip because it was so oversold. I think a lot of uh, buyers bought it up. Uh, but first, we're waiting. Is it going to continue to dip lower? Is it going to consolidate? Or is it, is it going to change direction? Now, I would hope that it consolidates a little bit because um, I do not like this crazy up, down, all around trading. Um, I want a clear trend as a trader. So I, I'm hoping that in the next few days it kind of consolidates and then in the time, um, find some nice buying pressure and then pops uh, within maybe by the end of the week. And then we can see some awesome price action heading into next week. Uh, so right now at the given price point, I am not buying a whole lot yet uh, because I did buy a little bit, but um, I buy in multiple stages so I can reduce my risk that way. If I buy all in at one price point, then I can't really bail myself out or lower my average position size if it dips a little bit lower. So what I do is I buy, I buy in three stages. I buy first the initial purchase, um, small position size, and then I buy the big chunk um, when I see there to be more confirmation. And the third time I buy again, if it continues to uptrend, um, you wanna put money where money's being made. You don't wanna put more money. If you're losing money in a stock, you generally don't wanna put more money into it. You wanna put more money into the stocks that are making you money already. Um, so as of right now, it is uh, A, very oversold. The MACD lines have not crossed yet. That's one thing we, we wait for. Um, it's oversold in the RSI. It is below the 180 day simple moving average. As you can see, it's been a clear support line um, often. Right there, right there. Um, you guys can count them. Now there's been a few times where it's dipped below it, but generally speaking, within a few weeks, it is well above it. Um, so I'm watching that right now. Is it going to kind of fake out and then rush back up to all time highs like it did uh, a few weeks ago? 
or is, or is it going to continue to trade lower? Uh, we don't know. Again, we're gonna wait for tomorrow. Hopefully, um, the futures are doing as good as they're doing now. If I zoom in a little bit, I don't know, I'm on the 15 minute chart. Uh, it's been uh, descending for the whole day, but um, so far, since 8 p.m., it's up 0.4% um, off of a 3% or a three, yeah, 3% 3 decrease in one single day. If you guys look at it, we are one, two, three, four, five, days of consecutive red. Um, we'd hope for it to turn around a little bit. The only thing that is very aggravating for traders is look at these days, these hammer candles. It sells off aggressively, but then by the end of the day, it almost fully recovers. Now we had two of those right in a row, which generally means um, a good sign of a change in direction. So we thought it would all uh, push higher. Um, so if you're losing money right now, again, every trader loses money. I'm actually down on the day. Um, yes, I had a really good at a $20,000 day Friday, um, but I did lose three to 4,000 on it today. Um, but I'm hoping to recover some of those gains just because of the big flash dip. Um, I'm not selling any of my shares. In fact, I'm buying more off of these dips. Uh, you want to buy for a good deal like I talked about. You don't want to buy when it's, when it's way high because then you didn't get it for a good deal. So I'm not selling any of my shares. Do not panic. Um, I did cut losses in one stock because it was not a stock I want to be invested in anymore, period. But I'm going to add on the stocks that are already making money. Um, so a few of them, let's go into it. As first, Tesla. As you guys can see, I'm sure you guys know, uh, I was actually breaking it down with my team. I'm going to delete the uh, computer's lag in here. But um, as you guys can see, it had a big red day today, a 10% almost. Um, red day. That is a huge red day. Last time I dipped that much, it was September of 2020. Um, so we are looking for a good change in direction here because it's been descending for quite a while. Uh, but uh, if you guys know much about Tesla, it is a little um, overhyped. I mean, I love the company. I love Elon Musk. And I love what they're doing. But at the given price point, I think it's overvalued. Uh, I think overvalued is actually the better word. And so I'm waiting for it to dip lower. I think we might possibly break below 600 tomorrow. Now I do have shares. Um, I do have some long-term shares, but I'm going to add as it dips tomorrow. My price point is the first support line that I see is right here um, at 697, just below the $700 um, mark. Because remember, old resistance lines can often become new support lines. So if I draw them out, I look at the last high. Uh, so that's the first target. And then we have one right here. And then we have a few down here. And then we have clear skies all the way down to $500. So hopefully it doesn't drop that much. Um, because I do have some long-term shares. But the more it drops, the more opportunity it creates for the upside. Um, so as of now, if it were to go, if you were to buy in right now and it were to go to all-time highs, we would experience, let me get my trend line tool, wrong tool, um, about a 25% gain. That's an awesome gain, uh, but realistically, I could definitely see this selling off another 10, 15%. If it does confirm a reversal in the next few days, I will add to my overall position. Next one is uh, PLTR. I do have quite a bit invested in this company. I think if the future stay green, we could definitely see this um, at $30 within the next few days. Uh, it's an awesome company. I made a video on it, so if you guys missed that video, make sure to go back and watch my last video. I will put the link in the description, actually, if you guys wanna go watch that. Last one I have my eyes on is BioNano Genomics. Now, it was not a good um, sign for the company as uh, it was the first day to break below the nine exponential moving average on the one year chart um, the last few months. So I'm not sure quite where the stock is headed, but as far as long-term growth, I love this stock. So I really think this is an awesome opportunity to actually get in onto uh, in the genome world. As you can see, CRISPR is at like $200 a share. Um, and I think that this company is right behind it. I love uh, BioNano Genomics and everything they have to offer, uh, especially with the Sapphire technology. And they actually, I think, had a good uh, earnings report today, or not earnings report, uh, PR today. I didn't read through it yet, uh, but I will. So this is one of my high growth stocks for, for 2021. I'm planning on buying the closer it gets to this blue line. So maybe it'll meet up around the 10, 1050 area tomorrow. If it drops another 10%, um, I will definitely be buying more shares. So there you guys have it. Um, um, you have all my thoughts personally on it and it is starting to look like it is going to curl up a little bit as it's up half a percent in the last um, hour and a half. So really good signs for tomorrow morning. Hopefully um, it does not have another red day, but um, I wouldn't doubt it um, as it's been continuing red for the last six days. 
Uh, but again, you guys want to not get scared of these dips, but take advantage of them. If you guys do not take advantage of these dips, it's hard to make money as a trader, um, especially if you always cut losses a second you guys are in the red. Um, you want to hold strong and actually add on these dips because they create awesome opportunities. Now, I do not think the market's going to crash in the next few weeks um, or any of that, especially given uh, what happened in um, a year ago from, from now. I, I understand the concern that people have, but we need to realize that um, that was a global pandemic. And I do, obviously crashes are inevitable, but um, I think that scared a lot of beginner investors and they think now every single dip is going to be a crash. Um, from the last, from the beginning times of, of trading the stock market, it's always had dips. Um, this is a, just the, what are we on? The one, I'm on a three, I think I'm on a three year chart. Oh, max, yeah, on the max. Um, so you can see that there's there's a lot of dips all the time now. It's been super bullish lately, uh, and I know it's pretty far away from the 180-day simple moving average, so it does, definitely has some room to sell off. Uh, but I do not think it's going to happen just now. I think we will be just fine. Before I end the video, guys, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to DM me either on the Instagram or the Discord. Again, it's the first link in my description to join the team or leave them in the comments. Also, if you guys have thoughts on what's happening right now, um, also put it in the comments and I will try to answer all of them as best I can. Now, it's also notable to do your own due diligence on the stocks I talked about or the overall market as I am not a financial advisor. Uh, so you cannot just blindly follow what I do. If you guys wanna understand the strategy when it comes to trading, click the second link in my description. We have a full in-depth um, A to Z course for you guys if you guys wanna check that out. We are doing a $100 off pre-order bonus. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the very next video.